What's going on, y'all? My name is Anthony Sims, and I'm here with Chris. Chris, what's going on, man? How can people get uh, get in contact with you? Well, my my social media on all platforms is just Pharaoh Tats. Tough. Um, so uh, we're here at, at at the shop. Um, what got you into uh, tattooing? So actually, it's kind of crazy. Um, it was this girl that I was messing with. And <laughs> it's, that's always the best story. Yeah, like she was a girl that I was messing with, and she was just like, "You draw a lot." Because originally, I was gonna go to college for um, graphic design. Yeah. And with graphic design, you're not guaranteed a job or anything yep. like that. So she was like, "You draw a lot and everything." So it was like, "Let's go tattoo." And I was like, "Why not? Why not? You know, yeah. like, why not? You, know, I, you might be right." I, I had free time, you know. I just I worked I worked like nine to five jobs and, and stuff like that. So I was just like, "I'm gonna I'm just go jump in the water and figure out how to swim or whatever." Yeah. So trial by fire, I love it. Um, do you have a favorite piece that you've done, or maybe a favorite piece that you have on yourself? Yeah, actually, not on myself, not on myself, but actually, just recently, like a few days ago, I did this this nice piece where I'm trying to like dive into a newer style of tattooing. Yeah, I love it personally. Yeah, um, I think it's very well executed. Um, it's not finished yet. Mm -hmm. We'll go back at it in two weeks, but I love it. I love that. I love to hear it too. And the confidence you gotta have that confidence in, in your own work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like regardless of how long you've been doing something, I think that goes goes a long way because you're only gonna get better and better. Yeah, now nah, don't get me wrong though. Like sometimes I be like, dang. <laughs> I don't think this is it. Yeah. I don't think this is the one. Yeah. But yeah, with this one, I'm definitely, I'm definitely confident. I, I got like JP backing me up on that, and just a little support go a long way. It, do, it definitely does. Definitely does. Um, so, do you want to like speak, uh, speak out on any maybe like tattooing or tattoo myths, rumors, or just things you hear like negative stereotypes about like maybe the industry or just people with tattoos in general? Yeah. Numb and cream. Yeah. Can I curse? Fuck yeah. This shit sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Listen, number cream is not for everybody. It definitely alters the skin. It, it changes okay. in some of the worst ways. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you if you do plan on using number cream, definitely let your artist know ahead yep. of time. Yep. And and even like the artist, you know, I haven't been tattooing long, you know. Mm -hmm. So whoever's listening, like correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But um it alters your skin. Yeah. Um, and I feel like you if you use numb and cream, when that shit wears off, the pain is just ten times worse than yeah. what it could have been if you would have just originally not used it. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So that, that that's a good a good call out too. And I never thought about that neither, but I mean I'm sure even not being an expert in the field, I'm sure that, that would alter the skin texture yeah, yeah, yeah. and the way it glides in it, some it, sort it of way. Sucks, yeah, yeah. And pouring sucks. pouring to the skin, the ink and stuff. So um do you have any goals, uh whether personal or professional, for twenty twenty four? Oh man, yeah. Um, I, I really want to perfect this style that I'm trying to push out, um, which is like soft sh black and gray shading, yeah. and always like a hint of red, which would be kind of like my signature, you know. Tough. Um, I definitely plan on pushing that out as far as possible, putting it in everybody's faces, yeah. so that everybody can see it. You definitely can. I, I, I believe in you. Um, do you have like a favorite artist in any genre or any type of field? Yeah, so tattoo wise, I have two. It's called Harrison Tattoo. Okay. That's his Instagram, and then Eugene Attic. Okay. Which is, his Instagram is the Attic. I really look up to those guys. There's they're like in Ukraine and in Europe and yeah. shit like that. All next level shit. Yeah, across seas and then like music. I'm I'm a big ass Chris Brown fan. You Who know? doesn't like? Yeah. I love Chris. And he's also Taurus like me. But um, I I love Sea Breeze and he has a lot of uh, interesting tattoos too. I, and I think uh, he was one of the first people when I was in high school. I saw uh, he had like uh, he was gonna those stars tattooed on him. I was like, damn, I really want to get like yeah. Some... I, I want to tattoo him one yeah. day. Yeah, one day you hopefully. will, you will. Chris, meet Chris. Um, what do you think the best thing about being an artist is? <sighs> the freedom. Yeah. You know, mentally, physically, you know, you're, you're free. Um, you get to, you also get to express your ways and you get express yourself in multiple ways. You know, it's just, you're just free. Yeah, for That's, sure. Yeah, you're just free. I love it. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to do this. And uh, I'm going to talk to Chris Brown and make sure he gets in contact with you. Imagine, so. yeah, I hope. <laughs>